Yeah, yeah. 
evil altar evil altar evil altar acting as a demonic line acting as a demonic line. today i am silencing you by fire today i am silencing you in by the fire. name of jesus sema madhabahu yoyote madhabahu yoyote inaotumika kama laini inaotumika ya kunizuia kusonga mbele ya kunizuia ninapotoa sadaka ya madhabahu ninapotoa sadaka hiyo madhabahu ninaivunja hiyo madhabahu na ninavuka ninaenda mbele na ninavuka ninaenda katika jina la Yesu Kristo katika jina la Yesu sema amen amen shika sadaka yako ya madhabahu tukapate kumtolea bwana tunguze haya madhabahu tuchochee madhabahu tumwambie bwana tunapoanguza haya madhabahu we are challenging another altar speaking against our progress against our advancement in the mighty name of Jesus my father my god i pray in the name of Jesus as we touch this altar with our altar offering let there be divine move divine encounters let there be the spiritual commotion in the spiritual realm bring down every wall of jericho bring down every Oh Red Sea ambayo imetuzuilia kusonga mbele I pray in the name of Jesus ya kwamba madhabahu haya itaturuhusu siku ya leo tukavuke laini zote ambao tumewekewa katika jina la Yesu Baba wa mbinguni nakushukuru maana inajua siku ya leo kuna mambo utakwenda kutenda njicho alijaona masikio haijasikia na wala hakuna akili imewaita fakari matendo yako ambayo unaenda kutenda katika hii madhabahu siku ya leo nibarikiwe jina lako na likapata kuinuliwa forever in Jesus precious name we pray and we believe Amen and amen and amen. Leta sadaka yako weka hapo kwa madhabahu, tupambe hii madhabahu tuchochee neema na Mungu atakwenda kututembelea siku ya leo. Wale mnatazama online namba ya simu ndio hiyo. Guza madhabahu, Mungu aende mahali ambapo hajaandaliwa. Nikamwambia Musa enda waambie wana wa Israeli wajitakase siku tatu. Maana nitakuja kuwatembelea. Kutembelewa kwa mtu akienda ibada inategemea anga vile amejiandalia hiyo ibada. Amen. Maana mtumishi wa Mungu anaweza jiandaa kivi yake. Anabeba neema, anabeba miunjiza, anabeba kila kitu ya watu lakini wale tu wamejiandaa ndio wataruhusiwa kuconnect. Amen. Sema amina. Amen. Utashangaa sana maana kuna watu utaona Mungu anawatembelea hapa na wengine wanawaacha bila kutembelewa. Shida sio mchungaji. Shida ni yule mtu amekuja kuhudumiwa ajajiandaa. Sema kupitia sadaka yangu kwa madhabahu. Kupitia sadaka yangu. Nimejiandaa kuhudumiwa leo. Nimejiandaa kuhudumiwa. Katika leo. jina la Yesu Kristo. Katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Sema amen. Amen. God bless you so much wale mko online na wale tuko hapa kanisani please you can have your seat and as you sit on that seat I pray that you are going to sit on the head of your enemies in Jesus name. Amen. Amina hiyo ni kidogo ikubaliana hiyo neno nzito hivyo. Amen. Unapokalia hiyo kiketi kalia maandui zako forever. Amen. Kalia umaskini forever. Amen. Kalia laana zao forever. Amen. Sema Amina. Amina. Crossing the line. That is our operation. Today is day two. Yesterday we started very powerful. Amen. Amen. Na leo nimetumwa kwa watu kama wakienda chini sana watu 777. Amen. 777. Amen. And I pray that you be among the 777 people. Amen. Maana ni lazima mtu avuke laini siku ya leo. Amen. Sema laini laini. Laini laini. Nitakwenda kuzivuka leo. Nitakwenda kuzivuka leo. Katika jina la Yesu. Katika jina la Yesu. Let's appreciate our papa Apostle Mesha Kilu pamoja na mama yetu Mama Susan. Hallelujah. Pastor Susan that has appreciate is too low we can unaweza kaongezea neema hiyo ikapata kutumulika siku ya leo hallelujah in the name of jesus amen god bless you so much wale mmejiunga na sisi online please when you tune in share this broadcast i'm telling you something must happen actually kama umeingia kama utashia mala machache ama if you are going to share lesser times let them let them be seven times Amen. Be prophetic. Something you are provoking your heavens and I'm telling you they are going to open in Jesus name. Amen. And before the service is over, I prophesy seven doors will be open already before you in Jesus name. Amen. What is a line? What is a demonic line? Of course, when we are talking about crossing the line, atuongei kuhusu laini imechorwa kimwili ni vitu za kiroho. Amen. Amen. Na Ninaamini ya kwamba leo hii umekuja hapo ukiwa tayari kuvuka laini. Amen. Kwa hivyo ninapoleta haya mafundisho kwa neema ambao Mungu amenijalia na mafuta iliyo juu ya baba yangu, kuna watu watahama by the dimension of hearing the word. Amen. Haujanisikia vizuri. 
Kuna watu watavuka laini kwa kusikia neno peke yake. Aha. Kuna wengine watavuka laini kwa prophetic declaration. Amen. Kuna wengine watavuka laini kupitia kuwekelewa mikono. Aha. Nasema kuna wengine watavuka laini kupitia deliverance. Amen. Na kuna mtu maisha yake ni lazima itakwenda kubadilika. Sema kila laini ya kimashetani. Kila laini ya kimashetani. Na kusonga mbele. Leo ninakuvuka. Leo ninakuvuka. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. What is a demonic line? It is an evil word released through spoken word to restrict a person from manifesting. Uh-huh. It is an evil word spoken or released through a spoken word to restrict an individual from manifesting completely. Amen. Kiswahili nasemaje? Ni neno ya kiuchawi amba uwe inanenewa mtu ndio imuzuie kufika level fulani ama kiwango fulani cha maisha aha so a line can be drawn into a person's life through a spoken evil word aha na kile kinaweza kikaondoa an evil word ni a divine word Amen. that's why we need prophecy Uh-huh. And today we are going to prophesy. Amen. If I only hear you as loudest amen. Amen. I say we are going to prophesy to you in Jesus name. Amen. Psalm 45 verse one. Beautiful words stir my heart. I will recite a lovely poem about the king for my tongue is like a pen of a skillful poet. Moyo wangu umejaa mawazo mema. Anasema moyo wangu umejaa mawazo mema. Huyu ni Daudi mtumishi wa Mungu anaongea. Aha. Na mtungia mfalme shairi langu. Na nitamtungia mfalme shairi langu. Ulimi wangu ni kama kalamu ya mwandishi. Maana nimetambua ya kwamba ulimi wangu ni kama kalamu. Amen. Unaweza ukachora kitu. Aha. Haleluya. Amen. Namba wadi ibada hii ni ya watu ambao wako tayari kuongea. Amen. If you are not ready to speak. Aha. Uh-huh. This service will not favor you. Aha. Uh-huh. Lakini kama utaongea, anasema ya kwamba ulimi wangu ni kama kalamu ya mwandishi hodari. Amen. Na hivyo ndivyo kuna watu wazuri wananena na vitu zinatendeka. Uh-huh. Na wengine wabaya wananena na vitu zinatendeka. Uh-huh. Maana nimesema laini unaweza chorwa kupitia maneno. Amen. Na leo hii ndio ninakuomba ndugu yangu na dada yangu. Uh-huh. Tutakapoambia wewe uonge ongea mpaka tukuambie unyamaze. Amen. Maana kuna vitu ni lazima uchore kupitia ulimi wako. Amen. Inua mkono sema my father my father. My father my father. Anoint my tongue. Anoint my heart. I want it to prophesy. I want to prophesy. Hallelujah. Amen. Anasema nitamwandikia mfalme shairi. Aha. Maana ulimi wangu ni kama kalamu. Amen. Mtu akienda kazini kile kinafanyanga aajiriwe ni kalamu. Aha. Ana ajiri yangu na anaandikwa kwa list. Amen. Wakitaka kuvuta yeye wanachukua hiyo hiyo kalamu wanamkanzo. Aha. Wanamtaminate. Aha. Any evil pen. Aha. I say any evil pen. Aha. Kalamu yoyote ya kishetani. Walioweka ndio wakutaminate nayo. Aha. Unaposema fire. Hiyo kalamu inateketea. Faya. Na ninatangaza unawachiliwa. Faya. Na unavuka laini zao. Faya. In the name of Jesus. Kuna watu mamilioni ya watu tumefungua. Ukasikia Aha. watu mapepo ikisema sisi ni watu wa kwao. Sisi ni wachawi. Aha. Tumemwekea kuhangaika. Na tulisema ataendelea walimchorea laini. Aha. Muchawi yote alikucholea laini. Amen. Nasema mulosi yote alikucholea laini. Amen. Unaposema fire. Faya. Ulimi wake unakamata moto. Faya. In the name of Jesus. Wanapotaka kulaani mtu what they do what 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 do they do? They speak an evil word. Aha. Wanasema atapata pesa na haita wewe msaidia. Hiyo maneno ni laini. Aha. Leo hii tumekuja kushughulikia hiyo laini. Amen. Aha, haleluya. Amen. Kwani anasema ya kwamba beautiful words. Kuna maneno iko ndani ya moyo wangu. There are people who does not have any beautiful word in their hearts. Wanabeba maneno maofu. Aha. 
Na Yesu anasema kile huwa kinakufuru mtu sio kile anakula ni kile kinatoka ndani ya moyo wake. Kwa hiyo mchawi akikunenea na ukose kunenewa na another person who is superior hiyo neno ya mchawi itakuchorea laini. Aha. Sema kila neno ya kiuchawi. Kila neno ya kiuchawi. Iliyo neno kwa maisha yangu. Iliyo neno kwa maisha. Ikanichorea laini. Ikanichorea laini. Ninaposema fire. Ninaposema fire. Ifutike siku ya leo. Ifutike siku ya leo. Sema fire nisikie. Fire. Sijasikia fire nzuri. Fire. Maneno ya kiuchawi. Fire. Yaliyo nenewa afya yako. Fire. Yaliyo nenewa biashara yako. Fire. Yaliyo nenewa watoto wako. Yaliyonenewa nyota yako unaposema faya inakwenda kufutika in the name of Jesus Mungu akubariki faith mwekali kwa sababu ya kunguza haya madhabahu na ninakuombea kwa moto ulio katika hii madhabahu any evil word that was spoken against your life and it has been restricting your manifestation that word by the prophetic altar offering i decree that line is withdrawn in jesus name Amen. that line is deleted in jesus name Amen. that line is erased in the name of jesus Amen. and i speak i speak as a man of god oh, yeah. ya kwamba kila limitation mbele yako uh-huh. imeondolewa na milango imefunguka Amen. i prophesy this is your january Amen. january to celebrate Amen. january of promotion Amen. january of increase Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Prophecy for one is prophecy for her. Hallelujah. January utaendelea. Amen. January you will be established. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Number 2. What is a demonic line? A demonic line can be an evil action conducted against your life, conducted against your family conducted against your village uh-huh. conducted against your gift uh-huh. can be an evil action kuna vitendo zinaitangwa vitendo ovu uh-huh. kwa hivyo laini inaweza chorwa kupitia kitendo jana tulikuwa hapa tukaona uh, family na mamu wana legioni na tukasikia mmoja alikuwa anasema kazi yangu ni kuwachorea laini uh-huh. amen Ita. so This person was bewitching them through an action. Aha. Uh-huh. Hallelujah. Amen. Ni kitendo huwa kinafanywa. Alafu kina mtu akiingizwa kwa hicho kitendo kuna neno maneno ina backup. Maana wanasema imani bila matendo imeku. Ah? Imani bila matendo? Wachai wanajua hiyo. You know in the Bible there are things we call them principles. Aha. Uh-huh. And the reason why the enemy I may take an advantage of a Christians because Christians were back in our faith uh-huh. but they have no actions. Uh-huh. Muchawi atakuroga na pia atafanya kitu. Uh-huh. Ndio unaona anatoka kwake anakuja kuzunguka kwako. Hicho kitendo is a principle ya kwamba faith plus action ndio inaletanga matokeo mazuri. Uh-huh. I pray for somebody watching me. Amen. Unapofanya kitendo cha imani, Aha. pia kujiunganisha na hii neema kupitia sadaka zako. Amen. Pingu yako ya pesa ifunguliwe. Amen. Laini uliyotolewa against finances itoke. Amen. Na upanyike tajiri wa kupindukia. Amen. Sema amina. Amina. So it can be an action. Listen to this. Numbers 22 verse 5 to 6. Hawa ni watu wanataka kuroga wana wa Israeli. Uh-huh. And they are very ready to pay the cost. Uh-huh. It's only a Christian who is not ready to pay the cost. Uh-huh. Ataki kulipa gharama. Anataka vitu sitendeke tu from loose. It is impossible. Uh-huh. Hallelujah. Amen. Kwa hivyo wanapotaka kukamata hao watu, walikuwa wanataka kuwacholea laini. Unaweza hasa tu verse 1 ndio tupate flow vizuri. Je, numbers 22 verse 1 to 6 walianza safari tena wa Israeli wakaanza safari tena so they wanted to advance uh-huh. walikuwa wanataka kimaisha wasonge mbele uh-huh. kama vile wewe unataka kuendelea uh-huh. kwa hivyo wakasema ya kwamba we want to advance so uh-huh. let us start a journey uh-huh. endelea Wakaenda kupiga kambi yao katika tambarare za Moabu. Na wakafaulu kufika katika tambarare za huko Moabu. Mashariki ya mto Jordani. Endelea. Kuelekea mjini Jericho. Aha. 
Fame baraki mwana wa Sipori. Na mfalme baraki mwana wa Sipori alijua mambo yote wa Israeli waliyowatendea. Akajua ya kwamba wa Israeli wameamua kusonga mbele, wameamua kuvuka laini. Amen. Alipojua akaanza kutafuta njinzi ya kupambana na wao. Endelea. Yeye pamoja na mawabu akashikwa na hofu kubwa juu ya Waisraeli. Na kwa sababu ya hao watu wanataka kusonga mbele wakaingiwa na hofu, wakaingiwa na wasiwasi. Kila mtu anayenisikiza siku ya leo, uh-huh. there are forces against your advancement. Uh-huh. You have not heard me well. Kila mtu anasikiza saa hii, kuna nguvu inakataa ukisonga mbele. Uh-huh. Uwe pop, uwe bishop kama kama nani? Uwe eh kama wewe uwe nani kila mtu kuna kitu kinamzuili yanga kusonga mbele aha na ndio hao wanaitwa wafalme wa mbalaki aha na wakina mwabu aha nasema they inda you again tunapita na wao amen sijasikia amina mzuri amen kila balaki wa maisha yako aha ataki ukisonga mbele aha nasema tunapita na yeye amen tunapita na yeye amen tunapita na yeye amen sema kila balaki kila balaki amesimama mbele yangu go down by fire go down by fire waliposikia wana wa Israeli ati wameanza ku advance wakaingiwa na ofu na wakaanza kutafuta jinsi watafanya kitendo ati cha kuwasimamisha hebu endelea tusikie waliwaongopa hasa kwa sababu ya wingi wao na wakaongopa kwa sababu ya wingi wao basi wa Moabu wakawaambia viongozi wa Midian wakatafuta viongozi wao wa Midian wakawaambia nini Umati u, umati u punde si punde taribu kila kitu kando kando yetu Aha. kama bali alavyo majani shambani Enelea. kwa hiyo balaki mwana asbori aliyekuwa mfano wa Moabu wakati huo akapeleka ujumbe kwa malaa mwana wa Behori huko Bedori karibu na mtereti ijini ya mawi alimwambia balaamu ipi Aha. kuna taifa ambalo lime, limetokea Misri lalo limeenea kila mahali ijini tena inatishia kuchukua ardhi yangu jo sasa walani watu wao kwa ajili yangu jo nimekwambia a line is an evil word akajua kama watu nitawashikia hapo asipite hapo ni lazima ni wanene laana inua mkono sema kila laana kila laana inaotembea kwa anga yangu inaotembea kwa leo hii utaniwachilia leo hii utaniwachilia by fire by power by fire by power haleluya amen anamwambia njoo basi unilaanie watu hawa amen amen Waji hapo sasa twende 23 verse 1. Naongea kuhusu kitendo kinayezafanywa kikakuzuilia kwenda mbele. Amen. Wengine hata si mtu amekufanyia kitendo, we mwenyewe ndiye umejifanyia kitendo. Aha. Na kikakutolea laini. Aha. Dio maana unaomba lakini hakuna kitu inatendeka, Aha. maana kuna laini ulifanya kupitia an evil action. Aha. May God deliver you today. Amen. Na Mungu akufungue siku ya leo. Amen. Inasemaje 23 verse 1. Balaamu akamwambia Balaki Balaamu ambaye ndiye amepelekewa kesi ya kulaani wana wa Israeli akamwambia Balaki na wale wazee fanyeni 1 2 3 akamwambiaje Nijeni madhabahu saba hapa kisha niletee fahari do an action ndio maana nimesema ya kwamba wale wamenguza madhabahu hiyo ni kitendo Amen na kama utavuka laini ni lazima uwe tayari namba 1 kuongea Amen namba 2 kufanya kitendo Amen namba 3 nitakuonyesha Aha. Na leo ni lazima mtu akitoka ule mlango avuke laini. Amen. Sema nitavuka laini. Nitavuka laini. Kwa hiyo akamwambia nijengee madhaba. Ndio ile maneno nitaongea ya kuchora laini ikuwe na nguvu. Aha. Sema amina niendelee. Amina. Inua mkono sema leo hii. Leo hii nitafanya kitendo. Nitafanya kitendo katika haya madhaba. Katika haya madhaba. Na laini walionicholea. Laini walionitakwenda kuivuka. Kwenda kuivuka. Haleluya. Amen. Endelea. Nitegee madhabahu saba hapa kisha onetee pari saba. Uh-huh. Na kodoo dume saba. Uh-huh. Balaki akafanya kama balamu alivyosema. Balaki hakushindia debate ya hatu unajua madhabahu saba ni nyingi si ungeweka madhabahu mbili ama akafanya kama vile aliyemana aliyejua ya kwamba imani bila matendo imekufa aha if you want to cross any demonic line against your advancement you must have faith 
and action amen hallelujah amen nasema lazima ukuwe na imani na matendo aha na ndio maana tuko na ima babao hapa amen ndio maana tuko na nabii katika ima babao amen kuna kitendo tutafanya kwa haya madhabahu na mtumishi wa Mungu ataongea kwa anga zetu walioingia hapa na laini ya kutokuwa na afya hautaondoka bila afya yako hautaondoka bila nyota yako hautaondoka bila kipawa chako nasema hautaondoka bila huduma pigia Yesu makofi teremsha neema haleluya haleluya amen so when that action has been conducted against your advancement charges are very high that hautavuka laini amen amen ukisoma jeremiah 35 ni scripture ambayo tumekuwa tukisoma sana hapa that 5 verse 1 to 10 unapata a family Aha. something was conducted against that family and the, by the end of the day wakajipata na limitation ya mambo kadha wa kadha kina kitendo kilifanywa na wazee tunapoongea kuhusu kuvuka laini zingine ni madhabahu za kifamilia amen wazee walifanya vitendo zikatutolea laini hatuwezi tukaoa hatuwezi tukaolewa Aha. kama uko hapo ulicholewa laini ya kutoa ama kutolewa leo hii tutakuvukisha by fire Ena. nasema tutakuvukisha by fire Baya. sema fire nienelee fire hebu endelea jeremiah 35 verse 1 to 10 neno la Mwenyezi Mungu ilimjaje jeremia please answer verse 5 because of time verse 5 kisha kisha nikaleta vikoma na makuni iliyojaa divai bele hawa warekabu aha nikawaambia kawaambiaje kujeni divai aha lakini wao wakanijibu aha sisi hatunyi divai mm-hmm. maana nadamu ana warekabu aha mzee wetu alituamuru hivi aha msinywe divai mzee wetu alituamuru hivi in other words alitutorea laini aha sema kila laini ilicholwa na wazee kila laini iliyocholwa na wazee leo hii nitaivuka by fire leo hii nitaivuka by fire sema my father my god my father my god in the name of jesus in the name of jesus every evil line every evil line from my family from my family be destroyed by fire be destroyed by fire ninaambia mtu kama bani skilo kwa sababu ya sadaka yako kwa hii madhabahu laini yoyote ulicholewa hiyo laini inaenda kuivutika na unakwenda kuivuka by fire Amen. laini iliyochorwa kwa kipawa chako uh-huh. unakwenda kuivuka Amen. kwa sababu ya kitendo cha imani uh-huh. kitendo chochote kilifanywa uh-huh. we nullify that evil action Amen. by the name of Jesus Christ Amen. by the power of the Holy Spirit Amen. and by the blood of Jesus Amen. somebody celebrate Jesus haleluya ukinguza hii madhabao mimi ninakuombea ombi moja kitendo walichofanya kida 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 lalishwe yani ki, kidunishwe ama kiwe cancelled uh-huh. na kitendo katika haya madhabahu amen katika jina la Yesu amen a demonic line can be a wicked personality fighting against your freedom aha uh-huh. sasa tumetoka kitendo anaweza kuwa sasa laini ni kimutu cha kishetani aha uh-huh. ni mchawi mahali Aha. ni mulozi mahali ni muganga mahali ni divine hako mahali na ndiye amekucholea line any time he or she appears aha unasikianga kutoendelea mbele amen exodus chapter 8 verse 28 anaweza kuwa ni mtu akitokea hivi unaingiwa na uof a uh, uoga nitwa uoga kuna mtu mahali akikanyanga kwako kukanya appearance yake tu peke yake ni laini amen 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 kuna mtu akikanyanga biashara yako asubuhi akiwa wa kwanza hautauzia mwingine aha akifika hapo amechora laini ya kwamba leo hakuna customer amen haleluya amen exodus chapter 8 verse 28 basi Farao akasema akasemaje utawaacha muende zenu kumtambikia Mwenyezi Mungu Mungu wenye jangwani walakini msiende mbali mno yani farao anaambia hao watu mimi nitawaruhusu muende but you should not go very far aha uh-huh. and farao said i will let you go that you may sacrifice to the lord your god in the wilderness only ye shall not go very far 
So there are people who have gone far but they have not gone very far. Uh-huh. The main agenda of this operation ni ya kuruhusu mtu aende very far. Amen. Nasema agenda kubwa ya hii operation ni kuruhusu mtu aende mbali na si mbali, aende mbali kabisa. Wale wameinua mikono. Ninaongea prophetically. Utaenda mbali sana kipesa, mbali sana kimafuta, mbali sana kibiashara, mbali sana kihuduma. Amen. Bali sana kinema nasema wale mikono iko juu pokea mafuta ya kwenda mbali sana pokea mafuta haleluya amen akawaambia nitawaruhusu mupate pesa lakini musipate pesa nyingi aha any evil man or woman aha. drawing lines against you and advancement aha. we are slaughtering them by fire today Baya. leo hii tunawaua na moto Baya. haleluya amen dawa ya wicked man or wicked woman ni mtu mwingine ametumwa na Mungu. Aha. Farao aliwaambia waenda na wasiende mbali. Na alipogundua wameenda mbali, akaanza kuwafuata. Aha. Lakini nao walikuwa na mtumishi wa Mungu, alikuwa anaitwa Moses. Aha. Amen. Amen. Moses naye alikuwa ameambiwa wapeleke mbali sana. Amen. Kwa hivyo naye kuna farao anasema wasiende mbali sana. Aha. Najua kuna mchawi hataki ukiendelea sana. Aha. Lakini kuna aposo anataka uendelee sana. Amen. Na ndio maana tuko hapa siku ya leo. Huyo mchawi amekufuata fuata. Mulosi amekufuata fuata. Maroya kwenu imekufuata fuata. Na shukuru Mungu maana hautaiona tena. Bahari ya Shamu itakwenda kuwameza. Bila ilimeza farao na jeshi yake. Ndivyo na wako watamezwa. Ukisema faya teremusha moto. Bye. In the name of Jesus. Kwa hivyo alipofika mahali akaona wanakuja, Musa akageukia Mungu. Akamwambia, "Yo wanatufuata." Akamwambia, "Relax." Aha. Endelee na safari. Amen. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. I know they are fighting you. Aha. I know they are very mad against you. Aha. But let me tell you 2023. Amen. You are going very very far. Amen. I'm talking about very very far. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Watu wengine unatuona hapa mwaka ambao inakuja. Aha. Hata watu wa kifamilia kutuona watakuwa na book appointment. Amen. Ambia mtu hivyo tumesema. Watu wa kifamilia watakuwa na book appointment. Amen. Amen. Kuna watu watakuwa wanataka kukuona wewe wanapiga simu wanaambiwa awezi patikana saa hii kujani next week. Aha. Maana utaenda uende mbali kabisa. Aha. Ni wale wanasema amina pale. Amen. Sema amen. Amen. God bless you Jacqueline Pius kwa sababu ya sadaka yako katika hii madhabahu. Laini yoyote ama mchawi na mulosi anayesimama kama laini mbele yako. Aha. Anaanguka siku ya leo. Amen. And I'm speaking over you are in the name of Jesus. Amen. 9 days from now. Aha. There is going to be a divine manifestation. Amen. Siku tisa kutoka saa hii kutakuwa na divine delivery. Amen. Ya kwamba utavuka laini zao by fire. Amen. Jacqueline Pius pokea hiyo neema. In the name of Jesus. inaweza kuwa ni mtu. Deuteronomy chapter 1 verse 6 to 7. God bless you faith Damian for coming on board. Amen. Folks, eh folks, eh somebody be there. God bless you for tuning in. God bless you faith Mwikali. God bless you. Oh my God. Amen. As you tune in, I prophesy over your life before 2022 is over. You should be you shall be over them in Jesus name. Amen. Eh Joylin wherever you are. I pray as the Lord liveth in Jesus name. Amen. Before 2022 closes its gates. Uh-huh. Seven major gates are opening for you in Jesus name. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Deuteronomy chapter 1 verse 6 to 7. Tulipo kuwa mlimani sinai. Aha. Uh-huh. Mwenyezi Mungu Mungu wetu alitoamuru hivi. Mekaa muda wa kutosha kwenye mlima huu. Sasa kujali kambi yenu mwandere na safari. Mtu akichorewa laini anakaanga mahali pamoja. Aha. Uh-huh anakaanga level moja. Aha. Anapatanga tupesa kidogo kidogo. Aha. Amen. 
kama kuna kitu mimi nasikia leo tushungulikie ni pesa za watu hapa uh-huh. maana lazima tukule siku vizuri amen na january hautachukua loan kwa mtu uh-huh. maana laini la yote ilichorwa kinyume na pesa yako uh-huh. tutaivuka leo na kesho amen wale wanasema amina ndio tutaongea na wao amina hapo january utasikia akinipea testimony amen january sio ngumu uh-huh. sema amina amina maana yesu asifiwe amen wana wa Israeli wakakaa mahali paka Mungu akakasirika akajileta mwenyewe vile amenituma siku ya leo aha nikuje nikwambia haka ka kiwango sio kako aha amen amen haka ka level sio kako aha wewe ni mtu wa majuu amen wewe ni mtu wa majuu amen you are the head of the airline amen you are the top of the topic amen hallelujah amen kidi akawaambia sasa ni nyinyi it is your responsibility to break the cup Amen. Kuna mtu alikuja akawadanganya mmefika akawajengea kanyumba. Aha. Kawaambia sasa kaeni hapa hapa ndiyo Kanaani. Kumbe hapo sio Kanaani. Amen. Amen. Kuna watu mko hapa mko comfort zone tutawasukuma siku ya leo. Amen. Ati unasemanga as long as ninakula sina ninalala maisha iko sawa. Na hauna kagari tutakotoa comfort zone sema nitatoka nitatoka katika jina la Yesu katika jina la Yesu number 4 a demonic line is what is hindering you from crossing over to the other side of life aha uh-huh. it is what is hindering you from crossing over to the other side of life amen kuna pande ingine ya maisha wa ndugu na wanada pande ingine ya maisha watu wakiingia wanaongeanga vitu ambaka mpaka watu wale wana, wanaambiwa wanashtuka hata wanabaki wanashangaa amen amen sometimes unasikia kama baba yetu akisimama hapa anaongea anasema acha mtu amenibariki na milioni moja jesus hiyo ni faida nyingine ya maisha aha uh-huh. huyo ako, amevuka pande ile nyingine amen 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 anasimama hapa anasema nimepelekwa miaka ya mbali sana nimeona 1 2 3 huyo ni mtu ako pande nyingine ya maisha amen kuna kiwango alivuka aha uh-huh. kuna maisha ambao Distance is not a barrier. Uh-huh. Hallelujah. Amen. Kuna kiwango ni lazima tufuke siku ya leo. Amen. Tutoke physical world tuingie spiritual realm. Amen. Ah, huko huko connected leo. Uh-huh. Ni lazima tufike mahali ambapo maisha sasa tunayaona plainly. Uh-huh. Mtu akiweka mtego tunamuona kabla aweke. Amen. Maana kuna kiwango kingine cha life tutaingia leo. Amen. Sema any power of darkness. Any power of darkness. Hindering me from seeing spiritually. Ndio ni sio kuona kiroho. Ninakusambaratisha by fire. Sambaratisha by fire. Hallelujah. Amen. Kuna watu hawaonangi spiritually. Uh-huh. Completely they can't see anything. Unaweza naletewa mtu hapa ako na hata uoni kitu. Amen. Amen. Anaongea spiritual issues but you are not connecting kwa sababu kuna kalaini ulichorewa akakwambia utaona hii ya mwili lakini ya roho hautaona. Kuna uh-huh. watu zaidi ya saba leo macho itafunguka. Amen. Utaona ndani katika mioyo ya watu. Amen. Hata utaona mafikira yao. Amen. By the prophetic eye. Amen. Receive that anointing in Jesus name. I receive. One day I was I was having a prophetic service. I was seated somewhere in my office. So I lot uh, I was online. So nikafunguliwa macho nikaona mtu namwangalisha tu hapa akiwa kwa screen. Nikamwambia naona unajikuna hapa kwa kichwa maana because of 1 2 3. Akaniambia exactly hata saa hii unaniongelesha ninajikuna. Ako kwake mimi niko hapa lakini nimefunguliwa kuna kalaini nimeruhusiwa nikavuka. Amen. Na nikasema sasa sitarudi nyuma tena. Aha. Nitakaa hiyo another side of life. Amen. Unaweza ona mtu akiwa Dubai ukiwa Kenya. Amen. Nasema kuna watu watavuka hapa. Amen. Sana sana wale wanataka apostolic anointing Amen. na prophetic anointing. Amen. Mungu akufungue macho. Amen. Uwe na uwezo wa kuona mbali ukiwa mahali hapa katika jina la Yesu. Amen. Sema haleluya. Haleluya. Mwingine nikamuona akiwa kwa nyumba yake anafanya vanyi hivi ati huko kuna uma. Ha, siko kwake lakini macho ikafunguka nikamuona. Amen. Akasema exactly hivi umesema. Aha. Saa hii niko kwa mlango nafanya fanya hivi. Nilikuwa nasikia hapa kuna uma. No, I'm just seated here. Maana kuna kalaidi ukivuka, hivyo ndivyo utakuwa unaona baraka zako. Amen. Ah. Amen. So ndio ndiri tunaenda mahali. Amen. Katika jina la Yesu. Amen. Number 5 a demonic line. Before we go number 5, Joshua chapter 3 verse 13 kama utavukishwa 
hapo mbele utahitaji mtumishi wa Mungu na umkubali umwambie nishike mkono. Aha. Tuvuke hii kalaini aka. Nataka kuvuka the other side of life. There is a place full of blessing. There is a place full of freedom. There is a place full of good health whereby we don't buy health. Uh-huh. Health ni sehemu yetu. Amen. Amina. Amen. Nasema hallelujah. Amen. Kuna life ingine ukiingia ujuangi dawa ni nini? Ujuangi ndo tombaya ni nini? Aha. Uh-huh. Ukivuka pande hiyo hakunanga mashetani. Aha. Uh-huh. Amen. Amen. Unafanya kusikia watu wakisema silalangi unashindwa na mimi vile nataremshanga usingizi maana utavuka laini leo. Amen. Sema amina niendelee. Amina. Joshua chapter 3 verse 13. Wakati nyaza makuani wanaobeba sanduku la anga na Mwenyezi Mungu. Aha. Bwana wa dunia yote, mm. takapoingia katika maji ya mto Jordani, Aha. maji ya mto huo yataacha kutiririka. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Hawa ni wana wa Israeli tena. Wamevuka wamefika mahali wavuke Jordani. Jordan was a type of a line. Haleluya. Amen. Nimeingia theology kidogo. Katika Old Testament there are things that they they are not original. Aha. Ni ni type of Jesus, ni type of the enemy. Sasa mtu wa Jordani was a type of Pharaoh. Aha. Was a type of Satan. Aha. Was a type of witches and wizards. Aha. Amen. Amen. Ndio ujue it was a type of those things nimesema ndio maana nao makuani waliokuwa natangalia wana wa Israeli now they were a type of Jesus aha haleluya amen hiyo ni theology wale ambao ayoshikanishi mtakuja class ya theology siku moja tuwafundishe kwa hivyo maji haya is a type of the enemy is a type of limitation aha lakini makuani is a type of Jesus limit breaker Amen. Bondage breaker. Amen. A way maker. Amen. I pray in the name of Jesus. Amen. May Jesus the way maker appear in your life. Amen. The bondage breaker appear in your life. Amen. Every Jordan in your life. Uh-huh. I say as Jesus appears. Amen. That Jordan will disappear. Amen. Shout Jesus. Jesus. Kwani wakafika mahali licha ya kwamba Farao na jeshi yake wamemeswa na bahari ya Shamu kukainuka farao mwingine akawa represented na river Jordan. Aha. Wanataka kuvuka lakini maji ni mengi. Aha. Mungu akapatia Joshua mtumishi wake revelation. Akamwambia this is a special battle. Aha. Hii ni laini hao watu wamechorewa. Aha. Na kama muta act kitendo cha kiunabii basi amtavuka pande ile ingine Akamwambia mtatoka hapa wa makuani wakuwe mbele wanakwaya nyuma ya wachungaji na wale watu wengine watafuatia nyuma mtakapofika hapo Jordan maana kuna limitation mmewekewa kuna laini mmechorewa hapo muta involve anointing Ina. na hapo ndio mimi nasema ya kwamba wakati watakanyanga tu maji Aha. maji itasimama Ina. itarudi na nyuma Aha. na mtavuka salama si nimekuja kwa upako wa Joshua leo oh, yeah. na mafuta ya baba yangu waposomesha nikanyange kila muto wa madeni Ina. kila muto wa kisirani Ina. kila muto wa kutoendelea tutakapokanyanga hapo leo Uh-huh. Hiyo moto itasimama, uh-huh. utavuka uende kwa baraka, uh-huh. utaingia kwa maisha mazuri, uh-huh. ukiteremsha neema ishuke kabisa. Teremsha neema. Bibi akamwambia mtakapofika pale, uh-huh. don't dare to pray. Nyinyi hata msiombe, uh-huh. makuani wakanyange maji. Amen. Uh-huh. Niasia kiuchwa ndeke laki eta edhi na kwenyu. Uh-huh. Moto yote inaleta matatizo kwako. Uh-huh. Leo hii tutaikanyanga na mafuta ya mitume Amen. na itasimama utavuka. Amen. Sema haleluya. Haleluya. Nasema haleluya. Haleluya. Celebrate Jesus. Haleluya. I'm feeling anointing already. Nasikia nguvu tayari zinaanza kutembea. Amen. Kuna mito lazima tukaushe leo. Amen. Kuna mtu lazima avuke leo. Amen. Mto unaweza kuwa ni laana ya kwenu. Aha. Ina flow from one generation to another generation. Aha. Every river of gases Aha. from your ancestors. Aha. We are stepping on it today. Amen. We are stopping it today. Amen. You are crossing over by fire. Amen. Come on celebrate Jesus. Hallelujah. 
wengine ni muto unatembea kwa damu zao kwa sababu grandmother aliwawa na pressure Aha. wewe umeingiwa na pressure Aha. hiyo muto ya jerodani ya pressure tutaikanyanga itasimamia kwako Ena. na itapita to another generation nikipata mtu anasema jesus 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 neema ikuangukie pigia yesu makofi mazuri haleluya wengine jerodani inaweza kuwa tu ni hasira aha Everything representing Jordan in your life. Uh-huh. We are going to step on it today. Amen. And it is going to stop completely. Amen. And you are going to cross over in Jesus name. Amen. Joshua chapter 5 verse 1. And it came to pass when all the kings of the Amorites which were on the side of Jordan sasa wamevuka. Aha. Baada ya mtu kanyangwa wamevuka. So when these kings on the other side of Jordan westward and all the kings of Canaanite which were by the sea had that the Lord had dried up the waters of Jordan before the children of Israel their hearts melted neither was there a spirit in them anymore because the children because of the children of Israel wafalme watu wa Amori wafalme wa Amori ambao they are your enemies wamesema ya kwamba tumemwekea Jordani ndio asikuje pande hii acha nikwambie kitu yoyote inawakilisha Jordani kwa maisha yako Aha. utavuka siku ya leo Amen. watakusikia ushafika kwa hiyo anga Amen. sema amina amina wafalme hao waliposikia ya kwamba ati wana wa Israeli makwani walikanyanga tu maji muto ukasimama Aha. ati wakavuka salama wakaingiwa na uoga amen let me tell you my brother and my sister Aha. any enemy against your progress Aha. watapigwa na butwa na wataenda amen na wewe utaendelea na maisha kwa jina la Yesu amen hebu tusamee tumalizie wafame watu wa mari waliishi ngambo ya magharibi ya jerodani na wafame watu wa kanaani walio kwa pani ya bahari mm. ya mediterania walipo sikia kwa mwenyezi mungu hali ya kausha maja ya jerodani mm. kwa ajili ya wezirahedi mm. bako walipo kuisha puka wakapa moyo hey. wakaishiwa na nguvu kabisa wakaishiwa na nguvu kabisa wakuangopa wezirahedi hey. i like that One thing I know it is going to happen to the camp of your enemies. Aha. Fear and trembling will never cease in their camps. Amen. Nasema wataingiwa na wasiwasi na uonga usio na mwisho. Aha. Maana hivi nasema waliposikia Mungu amekausha. Aha. Jordan. Aha. Waliposikia Mungu amekausha madeni kwako. Aha. Waliposikia Mungu amekausha magonjwa kwako. Aha. Waliposikia Mungu amekausha kutoendelea kwako ah. wataingiwa na wasiwasi amen that is a prophecy to somebody amen kuna watu wamekuzoelea na matatizo ah. watashukia Mungu ameikausha amen ukisema amina pokea neema amina kuna kitu Mungu atakausha aha ndio ukitembea hivi wasemange eh kuna Mungu alimsaidia amen sema laini tutafuka leo laini tutafuka leo unaona I'm giving you a revelation there. Ninakuambia an evil line can be a demonic personality. Aha. Kwa nini wanatishika kama sio wao walichora? Aha. Amen. Amen. Walikuwa wameweka wakasema kabisa nganyenda vitapa. Aha. Maibitapo na mekata maibita. Forget about the anointing. Kuna kitu kingine hawajui na itangwa anointing na iko hapa siku ya leo. Aha. Ninajua kuna kitu wali hapo wakasema hautawahi vukanisha. Amen. Lakini na mimi naamini zaidi yao ya kwamba hapa kuna mafuta. Amen. Na ni laini utavuka kwa jina la Yesu Kristo. Amen. Kuna watu walilaanua kaambiwa hawata wewe enjoy ndoa. Aha. Today you are crossing that demonic line. Amen. Any man or woman Aha. who is not ready to see you enjoying life. Aha. They are going to rest in peace. Amen. Wale waminua mikono itendeke kabisa. Amen. Sema amina. Amina. So and number five, a demonic line is an evil force that hinders you from possessing your possessions. Aha. Is an evil force. Kuna nguvu za kimapepo. Kuna nguvu za kiuchawi. Na shetani atapenda sana ukiassume mambo kama haya. Aha. Amen. Amen. Na shetani atajificha. Maana hiyo inasema kwamba huwa anakuja kama malaika wa nuru, atakuwa atakuja kwako akuhubirie. Mustari unasema ya kwamba evinda ya ngai niyo eseo. So you will keep on waiting and waiting. Where is evinda ya ngai? Evinda ya ngai niyo huyu. 
Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Wakati wa Mungu ni saa ngapi? Saa hii. Saa hii. Hallelujah. Amen. Ndio ule mzozo hivyo lakini ti wa kelevi. Aha. Pesa haya hapo. Na ti wa kila mtu. Pia ngo wala mmekwenda mzozo. Aha. Hallelujah. Amen. Kwa is a is a demonic force that hinders you from possessing your possessions. Aha. Joshua chapter 6 verse 1. Now Jericho was straightly shut up because of the children of Israel. Sikia. Mji wa Jericho ulikuwa umefungwa kabisa. Na sio kwa sababu ya mtu mwingine, kwa sababu ya wana wa Israel. Amen. Hebu soma Kiswahili. Joshua chapter 6 verse 1. Milango ya kuingilia mji ni Jericho. Milango ya kuingililia mji ni Jericho. Ilikuwa imefungwa imara kwa ndani. Ilikuwa imefungwa imara kwa nani? Kuazia Israeli wasingi. Ni kuzuia wa Israeli sio wa Midiani sio wa Amori. Ah ah. Wa Israeli. Uh-huh. Sema kila Jericho. Kila Jericho. Iliyofungwa nisiingie. Iliyofungwa nisiingie. You are a demonic lie. You are a demonic lie. Collapse and die. Collapse and die. Hallelujah. Amen. The case of Jericho was straightly uh-huh. ama tightly shut down because kuna kamulango kamefungwa because of you. Aha. Na hapo ndiyo kanaitwa laini. Amen. 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 Kuna ka kitu kamefungwa not because of kings are means no because of a certain individual in kings that means we are crossing that line. Amen. I say we are crossing that line. Amen. I say in the name of Jesus the Christ. Amen. We are crossing that line. Amen. Milango wewe ushangai hapo na inakuwa very specific why the gates are shut. Uh-huh. because of the children of Israel. Uh-huh. Milango yote imefungwa kwa sababu ya watoto wako. Uh-huh. Kwa sababu ya huduma hii. Uh-huh. Kwa sababu ya watoto wa hii ministry. Uh-huh. Hiyo milango tunaposema Jesus. Jesus. Naona iki collapse na itoke. Jesus. Sijasikia Jesus yako. Jesus. Watu wa Facebook. Jesus. Watu wa radio. Jesus. Watu wa YouTube. Jesus. Sama sau Jesus. 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 Jesus in the name of Jesus and the Lord said verse 2 and the Lord said to Joshua see I have given unto thee into thine hand Jericho and the king thereof and the mighty men of valor the reason why Jericho imefungwa sababu kuna wafalme wako pale wanafaa kutukonnect na vitu vyetu uh-huh. amen amen kuna wafalme wako pale wanafaa kutuunganisha na vitu vyetu maana the reason why they are tightly shutting the gates is because they want to hinder us from possessing our possessions uh-huh. kumbuka hapo jeriko ndani ndiyo kuna dhahabu ya wana wa Israel uh-huh. hapo ndiyo kuna ngamia zao uh-huh. hapo ndiyo kuna magari yao uh-huh. hapo ndiyo kuna mashamba yao uh-huh. hapo ndiyo kuna title deed yako uh-huh. hapo ndiyo kuna gari yako uh-huh. i think i'm talking to the wrong person today jeriko imekamata fungo yako ya gari uh-huh. Imekamata wedding gown yako. Uh-huh. Nasema Jericho imeshika title deed yako. Uh-huh. Imekamata lockbook yako. Uh-huh. Leo hii tunaiweka chini. Amen. Unaingia unachukua milki yako. Amen. Sema Jericho Jericho. Where are you now? Collapse and fall down. Collapse and fall down. In the name of Jesus. Some say my father, my father. Every Jericho. Every my divine helpers. What are you waiting for? Fall down and die. Collapse now. In the name of Jesus. Kama una habari kings na mighty men of valor ni divine helpers. Amen. Kuna mtu ako mahali ako na 1100 zako. Aha. Lakini laini amecholewa na Jericho. Aha. Ndio akae hapo asikuone. Aha. As the Lord live this wonderful day. Amen. I pray in the name of Jesus. Amen. You and divine hope is coming. Amen. You and divine hope are coming. Amen. If you shout fire receive. Fire. Hallelujah. Amen. Kuna mtu kuendelea kwa maisha yako sio bidii yako. Aha. Ni wale watu Mungu amewatuma na wakakuja. Aha. Are you getting my point? Yes. Kuendelea kwako kwa maisha sio ile bidii yako unafikiria ngapi? Ni mtu atatumwa. Aha. Akuja akuletee baraka. 
Haleluya. Ninaongea kwa mafuta ya kiunabii. Oh, yeah. Ukiondoka ibada hii siku ya leo, Amen. utakutana na watu wamebeba mikate, Amen. wengine wamebeba divai, watakuunganisha na vitu vyako. Maana kilichowasuia kinaondoka siku ya leo. Nikisikia faya hey. ya wamama, hey. ya wazee, hey. wasichana kwa wavulana. Hey. Sema faya. Hey. In the name of Imetendeka in Jesus name. Amen. Yesu mwenyewe ndiyo ministry yake iendelee. Ni lazima kungekuwa sheke. Aha. Mapepo ilikuwa imekamata divine helpers. Aha. Ikaachilia Mary. Aha. Ikaachilia Susana. Oh, yeah. Wakaja kusimama na Jesus. Hey, no. Kuna wahuduma nimetumwa kwao siku ya leo. Oh, yeah. Wale wanakubebea funguo zako za connections. Oh, yeah. Nasema wanaachiliwa. Hey, no. Wale wametumwa kwa hii huduma. Oh, yeah. Walete television yetu. Oh, yeah. Walete radio yetu. Jeriko oh, yeah. inawazuia. Hey, no. Inakwenda kuangoka. Hey, no. Inakwenda kuangoka. Hey, no. Inakwenda kuangoka Amen. sema fire Kwa nini inasema kings uh-huh. wa in Jericho Amen. because kings are men of authority uh-huh. Ni watu wanaamulisha vitu na zinatendeka uh-huh. Kuna watu wakubwa watalocate this ministry Amen. Others are going to locate you in Libya and Wali Because every Jericho that was confining them uh-huh. that Jericho is already down Amen. Some will say go down go in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Any Jericho hindering from possessing your possessions. Uh-huh. It is collapsing today. Amen. I say it is collapsing today. Amen. Ibada hii ni ya watu wanasema enough is enough. Someone say enough is enough. Enough is enough. This message is for those who wants to move to their next level. Uh-huh. Mtu anasema ya kwamba no, this level. Unajua wana wa Israeli walikuwa wanatembea, wanataka dhahabu, lakini imezuiliwa mahali. Si wao wachimbe. Uh-huh. Dhahabu inajua na wana wa Israeli ndio maana siku walikuwa wanatoka Misri, walipewa dhahabu bila kuitisha. Uh-huh. Amen. Amen. Walipewa wakabeba vile walikuwa wanataka. Wakifika hapo mbele kumbe kuna ingine ilikuwa imeibiwa. Aha. Najua jana kuna muujiza ulipata. Aha. Lakini leo pia kuna muujiza mwingine. Yeah. Sema haleluya. Ukiinua mkono kamata 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 kamata. Akamata neno. In the name of Jesus. Kwa hivyo ni mtu anasema ya kwamba aka kaki wangu ni kadogo sana. Aha. I'm just thinking of myself preaching in a national TV like saa hii ati kwa nyumba watu wana nimekataka kaki wangu ya hapa nataka kwenda all over Amen. I may not know about you uh-huh. but this is not my level uh-huh. I must close the line Amen. lazima nivuke laini Amen. sinipate mtu wa imani asimame uh-huh. aseme ninavuka laini Nafuka kila laini. jeriko ilinisuia ninaikanyangia chini ninavuka laini ninaenda kwa baraka ninaenda kwa ushindi divine ya pasu wangu Karibuni kwa maisha yangu. Jeriko Jeriko. Get out of my way. Sabo say fire. Bigia Yesu makofi mazuri. Hallelujah. Sit down for a while. Number 6. Shakala bagadush. The demonic storms. Uh-huh. That rise at the edge of breakthrough. Aha. Uh-huh. Ni mawimbi ambao uwe inainuka wakati umekaribia muujiza. Aha. Na hapo ndiyo tutafungua watu wako na roho inaitangwa ya almost there but not there. Amen. Mtu anaoneanga muujiza hapa tu. Lakini hawajaipa hata. Aha. In the book of Acts chapter 5, chapter 3, sorry, verse 1. Kuna huyu mwanaume nilikuwa nasoma story huyu jamani kasema hii roho ndio siwezi kubali. Aha. Ukitorewa laini unaonanga baraka na macho lakini huwezi kamata. Aha. Amen. Amen. Ni wale watu wanakaa na matajiri na hawana utajiri. Anajuana na kila mkubwa hata ako na namba zao kwa simu. Aha. Lakini hawezi saidia yeye akuwe na hiyo utajiri. Maana ako na kiroho kinaitangwa almost there but not there. Uh-huh. Any spirit of almost there. Aha. Uh-huh. But ne- not there. Uh-huh. It is going to lose you as you shout fire. Fire. Inasemaje? Siku moja, aha, uh-huh. sasa 
Tisa alasili mm. Petro na Johari walikuwa wakienda kaluni Aha. wakati wa sara Aha. wakati huo mm. watu walikuwa wanabeba mtu mmoja kiwete mm. tangu kuzaliwa mm. watao walikuwa wakimweka huyo mtu kila siku kwenye mlango wa hekalu huitwa mm. mlango mzuri ili haombe chochote wale waliokuwa wakiingia hekalu mtu amechorewa laini anangojanga anything uh-huh. ana specific decision Amen. Amen. Tunawasikia anga hapa tukiwaombea, unataka tukuombee nini? Chochote. Uh-huh. Sasa kuna kitu inatangwa chochote. Nikalaini amechorewa mpaka akafunga mawazo. Uh-huh. Mtu huyu maliko inasema ya kwamba kila siku. Uh-huh. Alikuwa anabebwa, analetwa kwenye mlango wa hekalu. Uh-huh. Na to make the matter worse, yeye yeah, ana mambo mazuri lakini alikuwa anakaa mlango unaitwa mzuri. Uh-huh. Anything that is not good in your life. Uh-huh. We are going to root it out in Jesus name. Amen. We are going to uproot it in Jesus name. Amen. Mtu huyo alikuwa anakaa kwa mlango mzuri uh-huh. lakini anangojea apewe chochote. Uh-huh. Unajua chochote in, including matapiko. Uh-huh. Si ni chochote. Yes. Kwani ukiambiwa nipatie chochote, usitachukua anything tu upatie yeye. Uh-huh. Alikuwa anakaa kwa mlango mzuri. Hiyo 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 hekalu inasemwa ilikuwa na milango 12. Aha. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Hiyo lango beautiful ilikuwa inapitia watu wa kaliba ya juu, matajiri. Aha. Amen. Amen. Basi huyu mtu ndiye alikuwa na shida maana wale watu wanapitia pale hawana shida. Ilikuwa inapitia wafalme, watumishi wa Mungu. Kuna nyingine ilikuwa inapitia local people. Aha. Hiyo ni theology sasa unajua kuna wengine wanauliza hiyo imeandikwa wapi? Utajua ukienda huko. Amen. Waabidi Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Haleluya. Amen. Kwa hiyo alikuwa amekaa moja ilikuwa inaitwa beautiful gate. Aha. Zile zingine ziko na majina yake tutakwambia siku nyingine. Kwa hiyo kulikuwa kunapitia watu wenye hela. Wanapita na magari, wanamwangushia vitu. Lakini miaka yote amekaa pale hajawahi saidika. Shida Aha. sio watu, shida ni huyu mtu amechorewa laini ya kuambiwa you are almost to the miracle but never in the miracle. Aha. Any spirit of the enemy Aha. allow you to see miracles Aha. but not to celebrate the miracles. Aha. We are destroying that spirit today. Hiyo roho tunaichomoa siku ya leo. Sema kila roho ya kishetani inanifanya nione miujiza na nisipokee miujiza. Utakufa siku ya leo. Siku ya leo. Na hiyo rondi unaonanga unaitangwa na wenzako unawapeleka pati za watoto wako grand wishes za watoto wako na wako hawako hawajoi grand wish. Aha. Yaani inakuambia we are together with you. Tuko na wewe mamba to mamba. Utakuna tupeleka orasho. Ndizi kitawata kiundi zini jaona wewe lakini Yesu ni mwiyai. Utasikia na, watu wanakuambia kuja twende grand wish ni watoto wako wako hawajoi grand wish na usikiangi kitu unaenda tu kusembeitu wa wenyewe. Yaani unaruhusiwa uone wengine lakini si wako. Sema hiyo ndiyo nimekataa. Hiyo ndiyo nimekataa. Katika jina la Yesu. Katika jina la Yesu. Unakuja unapima nguo za harusi za watu lakini wewe huwezi kuwa nayo. Aha. Hiyo lazima tuchomoe leo. Amen. Kama ulipima nguo ya harusi ya mtu. Aha. Hata yako watu watapima. Amen. Wale mikono iko juu wanapiga kitu kitendeke leo. Haleluya. Jamaa huyo alikuwa anasikia watu wanaingia kanisani wanasimama wanasema haya nimepona nimepona anakaa pale anangojea chochote aha hiyo ni hiyo ni roho mbaya hiyo ni laini mbaya sana aha spirit of almost there but not there ni wale watu wanaenda wanafanya interview na anajua kabisa i am the qualified person aha lakini apewi kazi lakini the chance ya kuapply amepewa aha. chance ya kupata kazi hawezi pata aha ni wale wadada kupata mwanaume kumzalisha sio issue lakini kupata mwanaume wa kumooa is an issue. Aha. Leo utakombolewa in Jesus name. Amen. Yule atakuja next. Aha. Mutaenda mpaka kwa madhaba. Amen. Na mutapigiwa muhuri wa kanisa. Amen. As Mr and Mrs. Amen. Pigia Yesu makofi teremsha hiyo neema. Hallelujah. Sema my father my father. My father my Every father. demonic line. Any demonic line. Against my advancement. Against my advancement. Scatter by fire. Scatter by fire. Scatter by fire. Scatter by fire. In the name of Jesus. No we inavamia mpaka sisi wachungaji. Unakuwa watu wote dunia hii wanajua wewe ndio maombi ukiomba inajibiwa. Aha. Lakini asande au aletangi kwako. Aha. Leo nitadini nao pia. Amen. 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 <laughs> Amen. Amen. 
Unajua mchungaji kuna mahali sometimes tunafikanga mahali. Mtu akiota ndoto mbaya anakutumia. Uh-huh. Akipata na kesi anakutumia. Akiwa mgonjwa anakutumia. Mpesa ikiingia hatumi. Uh-huh. Na hiyo ni roho mbaya hiyo. Hiyo roho hiyo nimekataa hiyo na nimeitoa kwa anga yangu. Amen. Mkinitumia back to the sender. Amen. Naweza sikio. Amen. Unaona inamruhusu kuona matatizo ya watu lakini asishiriki baraka zao. Aha. Uh-huh. Hiyo nimekataa. Amen. Na itakuwa juu yako. Amen. Katika jina la Yesu. Amen. And this message is for those who are tired of stagnation and roundabouts. Amen. Ni ni ujumbe wa mtu ambaye amechoka na kukwama mahali pamoja kama wana wa Israeli na pia kuzungukanga mahali pamoja aendelei. Aha. Bwana Yesu apewe sifa. Amen. Unazunguka mahali pamoja, kakiwango ni kale kale. Revelation zile za 19 no. Eh hapana hiyo nimekataa mimi. Nataka kutembea na peace. Amen. Ya leo. Amen. Ni ni prophesy kama those guys who are prophesying here to yesterday. Uh-huh. Who is so and so? Mimi nataka hiyo. Hii nyingine ya kupiga piga. Ah ah, stack hiyo. Hiyo nimekuachia wewe. Mekataa. Ata wewe mekataa? Mhm. Uh-huh. tunarushia kuzimu hiyo. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You must be updated. Tukatai limitation na stagnation around about. Amen. This message is for those who are not aware of why they are suffering. Aha. Uh-huh. Unajua kuna mtu ako hapa anasumbuka na ajui nini kinafanya asumbuke. Aha. Amen. Amen. Niliombea mtu mwingine mahali akakuja akaniambia pasa niombeni kwa mgonjwa. Shida yako ni nini? Akaniambia mimi pasa sijui mimi ni nasikianga tu si. Sasa nikashindwa hapa tunaomba aje leo. Ni wauzi. Na yeye fanya fanya kichwa hivi. Akafanya. Imewacha ah nasikia tu si. Hapo ndio kama pasta unafanya kusema nina yani unaombanga maombi yote ambayo unajua siri zote za naachilia ndamu ya Yesu kwa mifupa kila mahali unaweka moto una mix ndamu ya Yesu mafuta revelation roho wa Bwana malaika una mix zote unamwambia pokea sasa umepona enda sasa utaponea mbele maana mkishidia hapo atashidia na siri yake Nikalaidi huyu mtu amechorewa aha Bwana Yesu asifiwe amen those who are suffering they are not aware why am i suffering God is going to deliver you in Jesus name. Amen. I say deliverance is here. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Mark chapter 4 35 to 39. A demonic line is those storms that rises when you are close to your next level, when you are about to to get into another lifestyle. Wakati uko karibu sana maisha ibanlike kitu kitainuka hapo sijui kama moyo hii hii kitu naongea najua kuna watu wengi sana wameipitia aha tuseme ilikuwa sasa ulikuwa umejipanga kabisa ibada ukaorganize kila kitu kila kitu mweka in order na ukasema ya kwamba hii Jumapili nitafika kanisani mapema Aha. lakini ukiamka hiyo asubuhi sijui mbuzi zimevunja nzizi zimeenda wapi sijui naye mtoto amegwarwa na umbwa yani kitu kinatokea hapo at the end of the day hujaenda ile ibada ulifast ukajipanga na uja kwenda Aha nika laini ulichorewa walijua kwamba ukifika hiyo siku utavuka laini yako hivyo wakainua kisirani Aha mtu yote anatumia yako kisirani siku ya ibada Aha leo hii ndio ndawa yako Amen hiyo kisirani hautaiona tena Amen sana sana wale wanasema fire fire in the name of Jesus sikia Mark chapter 4 verse 35 to 39 Jioni siku hiyo hiyo Yesu aliwaambia ali wanafunzi wake, tupuke ziwa, mm. twende ngambo. Aha. Basi wakauchukua wakauacha ule umatu wa watu. Mm-hmm. Akamchukua Yesu katika mashua alimokuwa. Vile vile ma- mashua nyingine zilimfuata. Aha. Basi dharuba kali ikaanza kupuma. Mm. Mawimbi yakapiga ile mashua, hata ikaanza kujaa maji. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Yesu ametoka kuna mission anataka kwenda to the other side of the lake. Uh-huh. Ukisoma hapo maliza na wende chapter 5 verse 1 hapo. Utapata kuna huyu jamaa alikuwa amepangawa na mapepo 2000. Aha. Uh-huh. Huyu jamaa season yake ya liberation imefika. Uh-huh. But storms are hindering. Uh-huh. Kuna vitu zinazuilia ye kufunguliwa. Uh-huh. Dio nimesema hiyo example mtu anataka kuja ibada lakini kitu from nowhere ama unakutana na mtu anakukasirisha hata ukija ibada uwezi uka break through kuna Aha. kitu kimetokea kikachafua anga yako kwa hivyo dhuruba zikaanza kuvuma 
Papa asile kuzuia Yesu asiende kufungua yule mtu. Aha. Mapepo yote ambayo imejiinua usifunguliwe. Aha. Tayari tumeshaishika kwa anga. Amen. Ni lazima mtu leo afunguliwe. Amen. Katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Amen. Sema haleluya. Haleluya. Kwa sababu alikuwa anajua huyu mtu ako na nyota. Aha. Na vitu kama hizi zinatendekea watu walio na nyota. Aha. Huyu mtu alikuwa muhubiri mkubwa. Aha. Na kwa hivyo walipojua kwamba he is about to cross over to his season of breakthrough. Aha. Wakainua dhoruba. Aha. Maana kulikuwa na laini. Laini zote tunamalizana nazo leo. Amen. Katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Amen. Sema katika jina la Yesu. Katika jina. Kila laini nimetolewa. Kila laini Inafutika leo. Inafutika leo. Kwa jina la Yesu Kristo. Kwa jina la Yesu Kristo. To cut the story short. Alipovuka pale Yesu akafungua huyu mtu. Mtu huyu alipofunguliwa wale walikuwa wamechora laini wakasema Yesu toka hapa kwetu. Aha. Maana wewe ndio unavukisha watu laini na hatutaki wavuke. Aha. Mtu yeyote ataki ukivuka laini. Aha. Turuhusu leo tumalizane na yeye. Amen. Hii mchanga saa hizi sio ngumu ni kufugua tu hivi tunamweka na tunaenda mbele. Amen. Amina yako imeenda chini kidogo. Amen. Sema my father my father. My father my father. Every demonic line in drawer. Every demonic line drawer. Every evil lines drawer. Any evil lines drawer. Drawing lines against my life. Drawing lines against my life. Let them fall and die. Let them fall and die. Kila mchoraji wa laini za kimashetani anaye nicholea laini akamato siku ya leo ateketee na moto aniwachilie kabisa in the name of Jesus number 7 napa malizia demonic line can be a name of a person laini inaweza kuwa jina ya mtu ameitwa jina ambayo imefunga yeye kuendelea mbele. Aha. Amen. Amen. Kwa mfano, mtu huyu anaitwa Yakobo. Yakobo inamaanisha tapeli. Aha. Yakobo anaenda anamwambia malaika, "Nibariki, sikuachilie mpaka unibariki, sikuachilie." Anamwambia, "No, you have a limitation. There is a line drawn. Uwezi pita hapo." Akamuuliza na shida, "Sasa itatoka ita aje hiyo?" Kambi, we must change your name. Amen. 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 From Tapeli ukue a blessed nation. Aha. Any evil name they gave you. Aha. I say any evil name they gave you. Aha. As you shout fire. Fire. It is going to release you in Jesus name. Fire. Mukamba akiitwa Kamene. Aha. Amewekewa limitation, awezi pendwa. Aha. Atapendwa na wale wako na roho kama ile yake. Aha. Mukamba akiitwa Wayua. Aha. Awezi tajirika maana jina ya mtu ni spirit yake. Aha. Amejifunga kwa jina yake. Aha. Amen. Amen. Kuna majina nataka kusema lakini nahofia kusema useme ni wewe. Aha. Amen. Amen. Juu yetu mlewa yeye. Anamlei. Wajue hata ile tachao. Ha? No. Sasa ni mtu amekuroga ama ni jina yako imekukamata? Ni jina. Amen. Amen. Na ukiitwa kasmo. For example, utapata vitu? Doko doko. Ni limitation ama si limitation? Limitation. Kuna tatizo hapo. Yes. Ukiitwa munyoki? Si utalewa? Yes. Kwa sababu hiyo ndiyo yako. Uh-huh. Kwa wengine they have drawn lines by their names. Aha. Uh-huh. Haleluya. Amen. Na hapo ndio huwa tunaambia mtu tafuta dhabihu dedicate your name. Amen. 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 Utoe hiyo roho. Unajua dedication ni kufanya ibada ndio ulete roho ingine. Aha. Uh-huh. Utoe ile roho ilikuweko. For example nikinunua shamba na hiyo shamba ilikuwa ya mganga. Nikienda hapo ile madhabahu iko hapo ni yangu ama ni ya mganga? ni ya mganga. Kwa hivyo nikitaka kutoa ya mganga niweke yangu nitafanya nini? Nitaleta mtumishi wa Mungu Amen. afanye ibada, alete roho hiyo na mimi nimpatie ujira wa mtumishi wa Mungu. Amen. Kwa hivyo majina ni hivyo hivyo. Aha. Sema jina ambayo inaniwekea kisirani. 
Jina ambaye ananiwekea na iko katika anga yangu. Na iko katika anga. Leo hii nitaitoa. Leo hii nitaitoa. Kupitia ibada kwa hii madhabahu. Kupitia ibada kwa hii madhabahu. Yesu anaita mitume wake 12. Na unasikia anapoita Petero anamwambia no. Peter means easily shaken. Aha. I must change this name na nikuite the rock. Aha. Maana nikitembea na wewe mtu wa kutikiswa tikiswa ovyo ovyo atutaoienda mahali. Aha. Haleluya. Amen. Sema my father my god. My father my god. Help me today. Help me today. I want to cross the line. I want to cross the line. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Kuna watu wengine utaongea na wao kitu kimoja, umwambie tena, umwambie tena shida si yeye. Muulize unaitangwa nani? Aha. Wewe hapo yani ita muongeli, kana muongela. Maana you know you need kuongelanga kumtabia. Amen. Nundo ombe tu hata. Hiyo. Mule na nimesema sisemi mtu nafanya kusema afadhali hiyo tunasema ndio mtu aone ah kumbe hii yangu inakuanga na kisirani uh-huh. aifanyie kazi amen let us do amen sema my father my god my father my god i am ready i am ready for deliverance today for deliverance today maombi kama sita nataka tuombe na mimi nimesema ibada hii ni ya mtu anasema enough is enough kwa hivyo kama wewe hujachoka basi atakuwa na muda na wewe utaona tunakupita pita hapo kwa sababu hujachoka aha maandiko inasema Genesis 27 verse 4 utakapochoka utavunja nira amen utasema hii maro nimekataa aha hiki kiwango sio chango aha sema amen amen prayer ya kwanza how do you pray this prayer every demonic line that was drawn in my family break in Jesus name kuna laini zimetoka kwa familia. Amen. Ndio maana nimekusomea Jeremiah 35 verse 1 to 10. Kuna watu laini zile zinatufunga ni za kifamilia. Uh-huh. Na kwa nini hatuwezi tukavuka? Maana wale walizifanya kwa anga. Wako na nguvu kutuliko. Na wakati uh-huh. nasema kwa anga ni kwa sababu wao wako na madhabao. Sisi hatuna madhabao. Uh-huh. Na tukifika kwa madhabao hakuna madhabao tunainua ni mchezo. Uh-huh. Amen. Amen. Let me tell you I can see 10% ya wale watu wao wanafunguliwa hapa wanategemeanga madhabao ya mtumishi wa Mungu. Amen. 90% hakunanga kitu amekuwa amefanya. Aha. Amen. Amen. Maana utawaona tu hapa. Ni masaya kuinua madhabao, utaona tu mtu anacheza tu. Kwa hivyo watategemea ile ya mtumishi wa Mungu si ile yao. Aha. Sasa akifunguliwa ni yeye aende aseme mimi nimefunguliwa kwa neema. Wacha sasa nianze kufanya kazi kitendo. Aha. Kwa hivyo kuna vitu za kifamilia na ni wewe sasa kama mtu wa familia useme ya kwamba I am responsible for this task. Uh-huh. I'm going to challenge them. Amen. Na unaamua. Amen. Sema amen. Amen. Anamwambia Gideoni no, I have chosen you you are a mighty valor, man of valor. You lead my people of Israel. But something you must be responsible about, the altars of your father. Uh-huh. That is not my duty, that is your duty. Amen. Uliza mtu kwenu madhabahu ni gani? Kwa kweli madhabahu ni gani? Amen. Amen. Ukitaka kujua kama kwenu kuna madhabahu mabaya, angalia watu wa kwenu. Utaona ka kitu simi la kanazunguka hapa. Uh-huh. Amen. Amen. Mimi najua kwetu si kuzuri. Hata kwenu najua sio kuzuri. Uh-huh. Lakini mimi kuna kitu kwetu huyo inanistua sana. Wakati naona kwetu hakuna mwanaume hata mmoja amefaulu ndoa. Aha. Uh-huh. Ninajuanga hapa kuna kitu kinakula watu. Amen. Nikiona wasichana wetu wote ndoa zina matatizo na juanga hapa kuna kitu ni lazima nishughulikie. Amen. It is a line that was drawn. Na kama nitaivunja I must be very serious than them. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Ni lazima uangalie uone nini kinatukulanga hapa kwetu. Kila familia iko na majitu. Aha. Yes. Every family has got giants. Aha. Vitu zinakula watu wao. Hallelujah. Amen. Na nikihesabu wale wako na ndoa Ninaona huyu ako naye lakini ni ya tatu. Aha. Yule amejaribu ni ya pili. Aha. Afadhali mimi nimesimama na moja na nitasimama na nitaendelea. Amen. Maana I am I am I am responsible. Aha. Na nimeamua tutapambana iwe nzuri iwe mbaya tutawakomesha. Amen. Ah hawatavuka kwangu akuje pande hii ingine. Laini nimeshachora. Amen. Nasema tutachora laini hapa. Amen. Kile kilikula ndugu zako Aha. ama dada zako Aha. unapomba ya maombi nasema akita kukula. Amen. Sema fire. Fire. Number prayer number two. 
you pray against evil words acting as limitation in your life and in your family amen pray against evil words kuna maneno inanenwa na ishaa neno ingine kama una habari waliongea wewe ndio ujaongea kuna watu walisema ya kwamba atawakoka lakini atawafurahia wokovu kuna Aha. watu waliongea maana aha maana wachai wako kila mahali na kazi yao ni kulaani mtu mwingine alikuwa anasema nyinyi mnadanganyanga hakuna laana nikamuuliza umesema nini kama hapa gani hakuna laana na yeye mwenyewe anakamwambia unajua we mwenyewe unasema hivi umelaaniwa aha amen amen laana ile inaweza angaisha mtu huko kwanza na asiuma iko kwanza ni laana ya maadui aha wala watu they are not for you they are against you Uh-huh. And any time they meet to speak they speak against you uh-huh. and that is a curse. Aha. Uh-huh. Mtu yote anaongea kinyume na wewe ni laana anakurushia. Aha. Uh-huh. Na laana ikufangi mpaka ikuwe challenged. Aha. Uh-huh. Because you must be ready to pray against any evil word. Amen. Acting as a demonic line against your life and amen. your family. Amen. Some say amen. Amen. Number 3. You must pray against line you must pray against every demonic line against your achievements. Aha. Kuna vitu tunasema ya kwamba uende na usiende mbali sana. Aha. Ni lazima uvunje hizo laini against your achievements. Amen. Someone say I am going to pray. I'm going to pray. And God is going to hear my prayer. And God is going to hear my In prayer. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Number four, you must pray this prayer. My father, my father, arise. Amen. Let the enemy of my life scatter. Amen. My father, my father, arise, let my pharaoh collapse. Amen. Kila mtu ako na firauni. Anamwambia enda na usiende mbali. Aha. Jenga na usimalize. Aha. Anzisha na usimalishe. Aha. Oa na msikue na amani. Aha. Soma na usipate kazi. Aha. Kuna pharaoh kwa maisha yako ni lazima uombe ukimwambia Mungu. Vile ulifanyia pharaoh kule Misri. Aha hata wangu afanyiwe hivyo. Amen. Bahari ipasuke imomeze. Amen. Na hapo ndio utasikia wachawi tunawazika hii season. Amen. Siku chache za Disemba ambazo zimesalia. Uh-huh. Kuna farao wako atazikwa. Amen. Wale mikono iko juu anasema fire siitendeke. Fire. In the name of Jesus. Number 6 5. Last my uombe maombi haya. Any demonic limitation. Aha. Uh-huh standing on the grounds of my name aha uh-huh. disappear and expire amen any demonic limitation standing on the grounds of my name aha uh-huh. disappear and expire yani kama kuna laini imechora kupitia jina yako iondolewe siku ya leo amen haleluya amen na hapo ndio utasikia wengine majina una are you aware that the name that you have you are not the originator of uh-huh. the name are you aware Yes. Hiyo jina uko nayo si yako mm-hmm. ni watu walikupatia. Aha. Haleluya. Amen. Ulizaliwa ukapata unaitangwa mwikali. Aha. Kwa hivyo wale walikuita mwikali you don't know why they called you mwikali. Aha. Walikuja wakati wa naming of John. Baba yake alikuwa anaitwa Zakaria. Majirani na watu wa kifamilia wakaja. Wakaambia Zakaria na mke wake Elizabeth. Aya huyu mtoto aitwe Zakaria kaambia hii hapana ataitwa Zakaria kama baba yake aje na sasa mtataka kumuita aje wakamwambia tumeambiwa na Mungu tumuita Yohana kaambia waacha wewe kwa uko wenu hakuna mtu anaitwa Yohana so every naming huwa inaletwa na ancestral powers aha wanaangalia nani mwingine alikuwa anaitwa hivyo hapa wanakuita kama yeye aha so when kile kilikula huyo kitakukula automatically aha mahali alifika utafika tu hapo Aha. Na ni kwa sababu ya jina. Aha. Sema jina yangu inatakaswa leo. Jina langu inatakaswa leo. Katika jina la Yesu. Katika jina la Yesu. Apale mwisho taomba by the blood of Jesus I erase completely every demonic line drawn against my money, against my business, against my marriage, against my education, against my ministry against my star kwa damu ya Yesu Kristo ninafuta kila laini ya kimashetani imechorwa kinyume na maisha yangu kipawa changu ndoa yangu familia yangu pesa zangu nimekwambia maombi maana nataka nikupatie time uombe ndio tukija hapo sasa ikue nikongoa kupanda 
kunoa kupanda na kula kwenda nzula tuibanda amen 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 sema haleluya haleluya are you ready to cross the line yes in the name of jesus are you sure yes someone say jesus jesus someone say jesus jesus have mercy on me have mercy on me in the name of jesus in the name of jesus Mungu akubariki sana mtazamaji na msikilizaji mahali unatupata hapa ni King's Club Ministry I believe that God has blessed you Mungu amekunenea ni masaa ya kuvuka laini And I want you to prepare yourself because if you are not going to act towards this revelation the revelation will remain inactive in your life lakini unapoifanyia kazi kupitia njia ya kwanza kuiamini ya pili kuitolea sadaka ndio itakuwa activated kwako. Anasema ya kwamba wale mtakaohubiria na waamini. Kwa hivyo ni kuhubiriwa na kuamini. Amen. Kupokea injili ni kuitolea sadaka. Una interlink na spirit ya hiyo madhabao. Kwa hivyo sadaka yako ni ya muhimu sana unapotuma katika hii madhabao. Inamaanisha ya kwamba umekubali hii revelation na umeunganika na hiyo revelation maana kuna kitendo umefanya. Imani bila matendo imekufa. Uh-huh. Don't carry a dead faith. Uh-huh. Carry a living faith. Amen. And living faith is empowered by your action. And we are talking about an action of giving. To adhabu kwa hii madhabahu. Wengine ni majina yani mtaitolea sadaka. Wengine ni madhabahu za kifamilia mtaitolea sadaka. Wengine ni laana zilineno mtaitolea sadaka. Na unapoongoza hii madhabahu na sadaka yako, neema ya Mungu katika hii madhabahu itakutembelea utafunguliwa na laini yote walikuwa wamekucholea by the anointing of this altar tunaamrisha Jordan isimame upite uingie kanani in the name of Jesus Amen. wherever you are i speak blessing upon your life upon your family upon your endeavors in the name of Jesus any power of limitation is already destroyed Amen. in Jesus mighty name powers of sickness oppression disease they are already scattered in the name of Jesus and i speak from this altar receive grace to advance receive grace to progress receive grace to manifest fully your destiny in Jesus name we pray and amen. i believe amen and amen and amen god bless you so much remember to connect with us after a short break in Jesus name bye bye for now god bless you amen, amen. bye bye